to begin, welcome to the 2020 Digital uh, Student Recognition Ceremony. Uh, we normally would have been out in Red Robertson Field this evening, but we're not now. We're here uh, in our homes and living rooms, and, um, but it's okay because the work that you guys did still um, is, is powerful and has a big impact on your life. And uh, we look forward to seeing all the great things that you do in your future. My name is David Frazier and I work here at NEO and, and I love this place. And, um, and it's always an honor to get to watch you guys, uh, all the students that come through to watch you guys succeed and learn and grow and become new people by the end of your time here. And so um, it's an honor to get to share this moment with you guys and uh, to be a part of this and to kind of host this call. First up, um, that's going to be on our call, we're going to have Emily Norris. And Emily is our student body government president. And so I'm going to locate Emily here because there's a bunch of you guys. There she is. I am going to uh, bring her up and so she can share. So Emily's going to give us some greetings. I just want to say welcome to everyone and congratulations. This is a huge step um, to say that we accomplished that first part of um, our education. So that's really all I have to say. Thank you so much, Emily. I have, uh, Emily created a video for us uh, that is going to share some of her remarks that she would have given if we were in the stadium. And so now um, I'm going to share that with you guys. Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Norris, and I'm the student body president at NEO. Um, I started my adventure in Miami in August of 2018. I was so ready to spread my wings and take the next step in life after high school. But I'll be honest, I was not sure if NEO was 100% right for me. I remember my parents leaving Sunday afternoon the Monday before classes started and I was completely lost. I really wasn't quite sure where to begin with this whole new path. But it didn't take long that I found my place. You see, NEO became my family. And as the class of 2020, we have had our share of love, heartbreak, and laughter. I asked Gentry, who used to work in the ag office, how she would explain our class. She said that even though we were all diverse, whether that be from our backgrounds, interests, and personalities, we were quick to make connections, and for the most part, we are pretty welcoming for one another. And personally, I believe this stands true for not only the Ag Department, but the class of 2020 as a whole. I'd like to send a personal thank you to the Ag Department staff and faculty, but especially my classmates. COVID-19 has taken away some of our favorite traditions. But NEO has created special bonds for all of us, and that is something not even COVID-19 can take away. Another thank you to my parents, grandparents, extended family, and friends at home. Thank you for showing me support and always welcoming me home with open arms. And for mom and dad who always sends me back with a full stomach and plenty of leftovers. Last but not least, thank you to my livestock teammates. I never knew I would be a part of such a chaotic family who only truly sleeps in the van when Owen and Skye are driving, not Tyler. We are wild and determined. That's what I love most. From the student body, thank you NEO for keeping us informed and keeping our best interest in mind during these trying times. I hope each graduate, whether you be a traditional or non-traditional student, knows how proud NEO is to see you complete this phase of your life. This is a big step and I can't wait to see where y'all go. Today is a milestone. It tells how far you've come. Keep learning, keep trying, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing on through your journey. Go, go, NEO. Thank you so much, Emily, for those kind words and for encouraging us um, in this journey. So next up, we have uh, Dr. Stafford. Dr. Stafford is, uh, has, hasn't been on campus for very long, but he has really been through a lot in leading us here, and I'm really grateful for his leadership um, for his, his confidence and the, uh, the, the presence that he brings to this campus, especially in these uncertain times. And so Dr. Stafford, we're gonna turn it over to you now. All right, I think you should be able to hear me. Um, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Emily, great job. Uh, David and uh, NEO uh, family for putting to this uh, together what I hope is the first and only uh, virtual celebration of graduates. And so uh, it will be noted in the record books that the class of 2020 just uh, went out in a different style than any other, other class will ever uh, do that. And so I can tell you that uh, commencement is supposed to be one of the most important days. I can tell you my 21 years of higher education, it's been the best day 
uh, of, of, of the academic year. And so it's a very unfortunate that we couldn't be at the uh, football stadium tonight where I could uh, see you all walk across uh, the stage and hand your diploma in front of the families and friends and other support groups that uh, will be there. Very unfortunate how the global pandemic uh, ended our, uh, what we know as, as to be normal. Uh, and you know, many of you all, this, it, it, your last semester with us came to an abrupt end, uh, forcing you to go home without saying your final farewells to, uh, to your friends. And that's, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's a terrible situation. But I am thankful that each of you uh, all have stepped up as our faculty and our staff to help complete your semester here at NEO uh, from a distance. Uh, it really, really is a, a, a task that you all have been had to do over the last couple of weeks. But I really believe it's your perseverance that's helped you get through this. Uh, it's really got you to this point uh, where you are graduating with the college degree. There's a lot of people across the country that cannot say uh, what each of you all can do to uh, can say today. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a commencement to make a graduate. You've done the coursework. You've uh, taken your final exams and you all are college graduates. Uh, and as Nelson Mandela put it in regards to perseverance, it always seems impossible until it's done. And so graduates, uh, you have done it. Uh, congratulations on being a graduate uh, of NEO a &M College. I truly believe your perseverance will get you through the tough times that lie ahead in the future. I really know that there will be some, but per perseverance will get you there. I really believe that uh, NEO's uh, degree has la basically laid the groundwork for future success for each of you. You have a competitive advantage now with a college degree in hand as you go off, whether it be the workforce or whether you continue your college at a four-year institution. I'm, I'm very confident that you all will each accomplish uh, great things. Uh, as a graduate, now you become a part of a special group. They call them alumni. In fact, you're NEO alumni. It's a, a special community of uh, consisting of leaders, professionals, and experts, great people all across the country, all across the world doing, a, doing great things uh, in the world. We expect you to do great things. We are confident that you will do great things. Uh, but as alumni, that means your time as a student is done here in Miami, Oklahoma, but we hope that each and every one of you will stay connected with your NEO family. Uh, Emily spoke about our connection to faculty. I've heard that many a times in my short tenure here about how each and every one you have talked about the impact of faculty and staff have made on, on your, uh, your time here in Miami. So we ask you to not just come back, we ask you to come back often uh, to be a part of this. Our story at NEO is only as good as our graduates. You're a part of that story. You've created your own story but you've also helped continue to build upon uh, NEO story. And so we want you back. We really truly appreciate the hard work, and dedication that you have done to get to this point. You've uh, continued the tradition of excellence and helped continue to make NEO a great place uh, for students to come. Truly proud of what you've accomplished. I wish each of you the best of luck and congratulations to the class of 2020, Row Norse Row. Thank you so much, Dr. Stafford, uh, for those kind words, and uh, we look forward to, to uh, all the great things that you're going to lead us in in the future as well. Next, we have um, a special greeting from the Board of Regents, and the Board of Regents is the, the governing body that, that oversees um, us and a host of other colleges that are a part of this organization. And, um, and so, Ms. Blaine Arthur, who is the Secretary and Commissioner of Agriculture for the state of Oklahoma, um, sent us a, a video greeting to share in our ceremony. I'm gonna read her bio real quickly uh, so you can know who she is. So Blaine Arthur is Oklahoma's first female Secretary of Agriculture. As president of the State Board of Agriculture, Mrs. Arthur serves as a member of the A&M Board of Regents. She was appointed by Governor Kevin Stitt in 2019. She previously served as executive director of the Oklahoma 4-H Foundation and as a former deputy commissioner of the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture, Food, and Forestry. Mrs. Arthur is a graduate of Oklahoma State University with a degree in agricultural economics. So now we're gonna hear from Blaine Arthur. 
Hello, NEO graduating class of 2020. I'm Blaine Arthur, Secretary of Agriculture for the state of Oklahoma. I really wish that I was there in person to give you a proper commencement address, but because of the situation that we're all navigating through, I'm sending you a virtual congratulations. I know that many of you are going to go on and pursue further education. Some of you are headed straight to the workforce and some of you aren't sure what that path looks like for you, but all of those answers are okay. I think as long as you continue to work hard, you will certainly find success in whatever your future path holds for you. We're very glad that so many of you chose NEO, that you chose to come and be educated here in the state of Oklahoma, and we'd love to have you stay here in the state of Oklahoma as well. You've done a lot of hard work to achieve this success, and especially during this time, it's provided some unique challenges. And as many folks in the ag world say, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So I wanna send out a big congratulations to you all. We wish you the very best in your future endeavors. And as always, row, Norse, row. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Arthur. And uh, you know, we, you have support across the state. Um, and there are people in all different places around our state that are celebrating what you guys have accomplished this year. So that's a lot to be proud of. Um, and beyond, our, or in addition to just our, you know, the, the leadership of our state celebrating you, our faculty and staff are incredibly proud of you and what you've accomplished. And so they sent in several videos to us to, um, to share with you guys what you, uh, what you mean to them. And so we're going to share some of these uh, videos with you now. The first one is the nursing department, and it starts in Spanish. And so those who speak Spanish, you're going to know what's going on. Those who don't, you may seem a little confused at first, but it's okay. They translate for you in the end. So we're going to turn that one on now. Felicidades a todos. Estudien bien, bien um, duro para mañana para que terminen fuerte. We can do this. <laughs> okay. Dora, I Here miss you. It. Right from Vicki. Dora, what'd you say, Dora? Finish strong. Study hard for tomorrow. You can do this. Yes. Right. So this is for our, um, this is for anybody. Actually, we're going to be celebrating right now our May 2020 graduates. So right now, I want all of you first year coming to second year students, give us a big heart. This is for our 2020 graduates from NEO Nursing. We love you guys, we're proud of you for how hard you work. And <laughs> thanks for being on this ride with us. Hi, class of 2020. It's been such a privilege for me to get to know so many of you uh, as students watching you grow in your education, but most especially as people. And so many of you have really Kind of blown my mind with what this generation is capable of doing. I know as you move on further in your education or move on in your careers, you're going to be as successful there as you have been here at NEO. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations to all of you. I want to congratulate all the sophomores this year, especially those on the judging team. Uh, you had an outstanding year and you made uh, it amazing for me to come back uh, my first year back at NEO. I look forward to watching you and seeing you grow next year as you go and compete in other places and uh, with, wish you all nothing but success. And all those that I've had in class, uh, again, congratulations to you all as well. And uh, I hope the, that you achieve all that you uh, have ever desired. Thank you. Hey, NEO grads, I want you to know that you are smart, you are brave, you are strong, and you are kind. You have everything that you need to go into this world and conquer it and make it so much better. Because remember, no excuses. Oh, hello, students. I am so proud of you and all the science classes you have passed and all the things that you have done and all the accomplishments. Good job, students. Hey, class of 2020 physical therapist assistant students. I just wanted to thank you for being so awesome and flexible during this challenging time. And I'm really going to miss having you guys in class. Best of luck. Giving a graduation shout out to all my Lady Norse women's basketball sophomores, Kara Brooks, Emily McAdams, Eliska Stepatakova, Ivana Murillo, Kene Diop. Wish you guys good luck at the next level. Love you guys. Congratulations to each of our graduates. 
I hope you all remember that this is just the beginning for each of you and you all have a very exciting future ahead of you. If you ever need anything, remember, you always have a friend at NEO. Good morning. I want to say congratulations to all of our students graduating in 2020. What a big year it's been. And it's going to be in our memories forever for all the things that have happened. Thank you for being a part of our lives during this year. Thank you for everything you've done. And I want to especially thank all of my tutors who have been working in the NEO Tutoring Center. We appreciate everything that you did, all the people that you helped. And we pray that you will go forth, that you will continue in service and kindness and you will accomplish great things in the future. We want to hear all about it. So God bless you and do well wherever you go. Hey guys, so this is a shout out to all of my student ambassadors. Um, I'm going to miss you guys so much. You guys all hold a very special place in my heart. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to my little sister, Kinsey. I love you so much. I'm going to miss having you on campus, but I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. The Student Support Services staff want to send all the NEO graduates a sincere congratulations. Obtaining a college degree in this unprecedented time in our history reveals sheer grit and determination. You've shown others what's possible when faced with these challenges. Now move forward on your new journey and make us proud. Row Norse Row! Greetings from Abel's Hall. On behalf of the NEO Agriculture Department, I want to say congratulations and best wishes today and always. Please keep in touch and come back and see us soon. To all the Norse grads of 2020, congratulations from CASA. We wish you all the best. Good luck. So that's our faculty and staff uh, showing how proud they are of you guys. And there are more um, that are on this call right now that, that really believe in you guys and are, are really um, just really excited for the things that you're going to do in your future. So way to go. Next we have um, several student videos. We requested for students to send in videos and we got a few of them. So I'm going to play those for you now. Um, and then after that we're going to have an opportunity for you as students to, uh, to offer some kind of words of, of encouragement or celebration or whatever you want to say. So um, here is the, the group of students that shared their memories with us. Hello everyone, my name is Tanisha Payton and I would like to say thank you to Ms. Amy, to the both boys and basketball girl coaches, and to you graduates, congratulations, we did it. I'm really going to miss my mentors and friends at Enio Theater Experience, and a huge shout out to Dr. Taylor and Mr. Compton, because I couldn't have done this without you. Hi, my name is Kimberly Lopez. My major is general studies. And today I want to thank Coach Bell and Coach Saul for always pushing me to do my best and make sure I'm always successful. Thank you, Coach Bell and Coach Saul. I'll miss you guys. So those are our student videos that we had. And so now if there's anybody who would like to share a memory, uh, give a, you know, a farewell or whatever, um, there is an opportunity in the chat to raise your hand and I will unmute you and, and spotlight you if, uh, if you want to share. So now's your chance. Students, go ahead and, and let me know you want to share something and then we'll bring you on. Take it away, Emily. Okay, well, I guess I'll just start because no one else is going to start. You know, we got to break the ice somehow. Um, like I said earlier, like I just want to let you guys know like how proud of you guys I am, how proud of a class we all are. And the great thing is, is this isn't just the ends like we're not just leaving neo and that's all we have like the faculty and staff and dr stafford had said like we get to come back to this amazing place and we get to say that we're alumni of neo and support the future students so i just encourage you guys to make sure you stay in touch with your friends that you've made and those connections and the faculty and staff because as much as they mean to us we know that we mean just as much back to them so and i encourage you guys to Unmute yourselves, raise your hand, and um, just share your thoughts. Thank you, Emily. Oh, I see another one. There's Georgia. She's going to share now. All right, Georgia, take it away. Hey, guys. I just want to say congratulations to everyone. And I wanted to give a special thanks to a lot of the people in the Ag Department, Dr. Booth, uh, Allison, KP. Um, all of you guys have helped me a lot along the way and helped me figure out what I want to do. And I also wanted to give a special thanks to Keely Adams and Amy Ishmael because you guys were there for me a lot and helped me through a lot of stuff. And I want to give a special shout out to my roommate, Katie Crable, because she was there with me from the very beginning. So thank you. Oh, 
Here's Lily. Hey guys, congratulations class of 2020. Um, I want to thank Donnie, Bobby, Julie, Katie, and Rachel for everything they've done. And I'm excited for this new future, but I didn't like the way it ended yet. That's okay. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much up in SSS for everything. And I want to give a shout out to Miss Robinson for helping me through this semester. So yeah, road north row. All right, go for it, Amy. Congratulations, class of 2020. Um, I know this year didn't go the way that any of us, any of us had planned, um, but I wish you the best in the future. This day is always a difficult day for me, and it's um, even more so this year. It's very, very strange and very sad, but I wish you the best and um, go on and do great things. We will miss you. Oh, here's Maddie Haynes. Hi, Inio. I'm so sad that um, I'm having to say this uh, from my car. I wish that I could be there. Um, with each of you. So, so I'm not much of a hugger, but I'd hug you today. Um, I had no clue what I was going to find when I step, stepped onto campus uh, two, two years ago, but little did I know, um, I found my best friends, uh, created so many memories, and truly learned uh, what grit and a whole lot of grace was. And I think these unprecedented times require that so um, I'm so proud of each of you. I am so glad that I got to share Inio with you. Um, and I cannot wait to see what God has in store for you in the future. God bless. Love you all. Thank you, Maddie. Do we have any faculty or staff that would like to share that are on the call? You guys are more than welcome to share as well. Just go ahead and raise your hand in the chat and I'll bring you in. We got Emily's back. Okay, I was just gonna let you guys know over on the right hand side by the chat, if you're on a laptop, it'll has the raise hand button because I know some people are putting it in the chat. Like I know Keely did, um, she wanted to share, but I just wanted to make sure you guys saw the button. So I didn't know if David, if you were reading the comments. Oh, I had the chat covered up. Would you believe that? Okay, we're gonna add, looks like Allison has her hand raised. We're gonna send it over to her real quick. Hey grads, I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You guys rocked this year. And I gotta tell you that I know that this is not ideal and this is not the way any of us wanted to uh, celebrate your graduation, but I can tell you that each one of you has grit and each one of you are gonna perse persevere through this. And I'm so, so thankful that we get to be a, a part of your journey now. And like David said, you are always, always, always welcome back. We want you back um, as much as we can get you. Um, we love you guys so much. This is so, um, this is so sad that we don't get to hug you. Um, I am a hugger. Maddie knows that. And I'd hug each and every one of you every chance I could, I could get you. So um, congratulations. You guys are going to go out and, and rock this world. And I can't wait to read about you, to, to see how you're changing the world. Go, Norse, go. Thank you so much, Allison. Now we're gonna send it over to Keely. Keely is your chance. Let's make sure you're unmuted first. Probably the biggest, most uh, interesting adversity you'll ever have thrown at you. Um, I have not heard a single student complaint. I've received questions, which is great because people wanna do better and they wanna better themselves and they want to make sure they finish the semester strong. Um, but I think that shows the true character of you graduates that you stuck it out, you put the work in, and now you are graduating as Norsemen. And just to reiterate um, what everyone else has said, we're here for you. Just because you leave doesn't mean we leave. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you're, you know, want to know about transferring, I could speak for everyone here in the CASA. We're here if you need anything at all. Uh, I think it's important to reiterate that because um, I know how um, hard it is for some of you to ask for help. We've learned that. Um, but truly, we are here if you need anything. Congratulations. We're all very, very proud of you. Now, uh, Catherine Hebert Brumley uh, wanted to share. And so now I'm going to put you on here, Catherine. Let me unmute you. Okay, great. Go for it. I just want to tell everyone congratulations. Uh, I'm going to miss all my students that are graduating. Y'all did a great job, especially with the pandemic going on. Uh, Y'all were pretty faithful to come to class on the um, using Zoom. And I think this has been one of the more successful semesters we've had. Go Norse, go. Awesome. Thank you so much, Catherine. 
Now it looks like we have Brandon Fraser, who has a great name. Um, I want to, he's raising his hand, so let's uh, give you a chance here. Well, hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> I never thought in, you know, at any part in time coming to NEO that it, I'd really miss it this much, especially being 30 hours away from home in Canada. And uh, I'd really like to thank the Ag Department and everyone who helped me out there and did so well and did so much for me. And I'd really like to thank all my livestock judging uh, teammates as they were such a big part of my life. And uh, they really honestly uh, became such great friends of mine. And I really can't wait to see what everyone does in their next step of their lives. And uh, NEO has been such a great experience. And I'm, I'm very proud that I went to, I was able to go here and it was a great honor. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brandon. Well, now uh, we're getting close to the end of our time, and so uh, we have a, a list of all the graduates that we're going to run here as we end. Um, but before we go, I just want to say, again, congratulations. Um, you guys are rock stars, and you're going to do big things, and I can't wait to um, create uh, social media content and, and press things that, that are talking about all the great accomplishments you've done. Um, since you leave this place. And so way to go, way to work hard. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. And remember, once a Norseman, always a Norseman.